So yesterday I went to my local tractor supply. I was a little bit nervous. I actually had my hat slung a little lower on my head than usual. I had my face mask tucked up a little bit higher than usual. I was trying to be like low profile, incognito. Because as a lot of you guys know, last week I made a video about the awful chick brooding practices at Tractor Supply. And ever since that video has come out, a lot of things have happened. And I wanted to talk to you guys today about it and address a couple of different issues at play, as well as give you an update on what's going on. First and foremost, I need to say thank you to all of you guys. The outreach of support and encouragement and positive words has just been amazing. And then the response to the petition that we put out, it's just friggin' mind blowing to me that that many people would show their support and try to spread the word. So I wanna start this video off first and foremost by saying thank you, thank you, thank you. But beyond that, there's been a couple of other interesting things that have happened. Number one, I've received a lot of outreach and confirmation from folks experienced poultry folks who are saying that they have seen very similar conditions to the stores that I saw here in New Hampshire and Vermont all over the country. Second, I've also received a lot of comments and messages from folks who were rather critical of the fact that I was calling this out. They were saying that these brooders are absolutely fine and that the problem is user error and so people in the local stores are screwing up and so because of that I shouldn't be going after tractor supply specifically. And I think that that issue of user error being a problem that we're seeing in the tractor supplies is a valid one. And if everybody was following the tractor supply corporate regulations to the letter, we wouldn't have these problems. I find that to be a very plausible point of view. But the fact of the matter is you're always going to have human variability when you try to take one system and apply it to nearly 2,000 stores across the United United States. Consistency is just wicked hard, kid. The other thing I've heard a lot of in the last couple of days has been a lot of feedback from current tractor supply employees who are highlighting a host of issues happening across the country. Now, every single one of these folks has asked me not to use their name or to identify them because they could get fired. And I think that that fear of termination for talking to a dude like me is very reasonable. But I actually was able to do my own internet sleuthing to verify that some of these people are really who they say they are and they are really tractor supply employees. And so some of the stuff that I've heard has included, no one is happy with the brooders. The temps don't get higher than 93 degrees and can drop to 87. Corporate knows about it that's why you see puppy pads placed on top of the cages and trays to keep them warm and trap heat we know that they're not warm enough we can complain to corporate but they have to confirm whether or not the chicks can be placed back into tanks the chick towers are meant to be easier cleanup and more appealing display of the product if any look lethargic they are to be put in the back immediately the pasty butt and lethargy are due to the hatchery this year it's hoovers there have been outbreaks of coccidosis many shipments have died there is a new policy that they are to be kept overnight before being placed out on the floor due to the stress of being just hatched and shipped as well as the outbreak along with separating sickly and healthily. So again, that's one person giving their own anecdotal point of view, but I did confirm that they are a tractor supply employee. After I put out the petition and after I put out the video, I got a message from the tractor supply team. They wanted to talk to me about some of my concerns that I cited in the video. That to me was a very good sign because I felt like that was a step towards success. I mean, ultimately asking for the ear of tractor supply to get them to change their practices was the whole reason I made last week's video. Thank How's it going, you guys? Jumping on with us. No problem. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. So the other night I hopped on a Zoom call with those folks and it was their social media person and the guy who runs their poultry merchandise area and one of their buyers and a lady who's responsible for overseeing a bunch of store operations. They also had one of the owners of Hoover Hatchery who's the hatchery that supplies them with their birds join the call. And we had about a 30 minute conversation where they talked to me about some of the things that they're doing and some of the things that they're changing. And they also talked a good game about really caring about the animals themselves and their welfare. But I would chalk it up as an ultimately unsatisfying conversation because when I asked for certain specifics around transparency. You know, we found it was better for the birds for with, the, with both the radiant heat. Um, from a disease standpoint, you have... Uh, do, do you have documented reduced mortality on that that you guys would put out there? Do we have documented reduced mortality? I would tell you that we've done the testing out there. There's nothing that we would share with you at this time. They went all Drake meme on me. No more. The, and then the other thing that I found very frustrating about the call was their sense of accountability was extremely weak. They refused to directly disclose any issues. And I often found them very dismissive of concerns that I had, as well as concerns that I've seen on social media. Thinking about some of the issues that have been reported around the country, 
how do you address those and how do you go back and kind of really highlight that? Some of the social posts that you're seeing are from new backyard chicken enthusiasts um, who may not have as much knowledge about chickens. But I think some of what you may be seeing also has an element of swirl in there. And as I listen back to the recording of the conversation, I got to admit, I'm mad at myself for not being harder on them. So I don't know if we, we uh, have necessarily turn you morgan to, to yeah no admittedly no <laughs> to be as effective as possible i tried to keep the conversation as cordial as possible but there were several moments in that call where i just felt like i was being straight up gaslit these aren't the droids you're looking for these aren't the droids we're looking for now look, I levy all of this criticism recognizing something very important. Nobody is perfect. But I'm also a huge believer in by acknowledging our flaws and being transparent, open, honest, and vulnerable, we can actually get better. You know, you heard me in this video earlier hammering Tractor Supply for not being willing to share their mortality numbers. And heck, if you look at my mortality numbers here on my farm, it's not great. But I've also been very transparent with all of you over the years around what's gone right and what's gone wrong and what I've screwed up and what I've learned. And I think that that's made me a better farmer. But when I hear an organization like Tractor Supply shirk accountability and slough off requests for data, that frustrates the heck out of me. You know, I just want to let you know, I mean, we are committed to keeping, you know, live animals healthy and safe in our stores. I mean, that is our primary concern. And when I also hear them mislead people by saying that the welfare of the birds is their top priority, I have to call BS. Look, Tractor Supply is a Fortune 500 company that's publicly traded. Their first priority has to always be to their shareholders. But all of that said, within the call, they did say a couple of things that they were doing regularly now that would help the animal welfare. Specifically, they were gonna be mandating that their associates do hourly checks of the birds for temperature and other welfare conditions. And they were gonna have communication units going on throughout the store where they were gonna be wearing these special earpieces as a way for everybody to be very much in touch with how are the birds doing and make sure that they were taking care of the birds and doing their best to take care of the birds. They also said that they were gonna put some special signage up in the store. The weirdest thing about that was they actually told me that they were doing that because of the video. And they even tried to position it as my idea, when if you go back and look at the tape, clearly it was something they were working on ahead of time and they were just trying to position it as my idea to maybe make me feel good. Which brings me to yesterday when I drove around to several different tractor supply stores to check to see if the things they said they were gonna do, they're actually doing. And on the good news front, it seems like they were doing a lot of the things that they said they were doing. They were actively monitoring the temperature of the birds inside the store. When I played dumb and asked several associates what they were doing to take care of the birds, they all talked about the hourly checks. They all talked about having a chick welfare captain or something along those lines. And, and apparently they did rush out and print off a bunch of signs that they stuck on the brooders because of the video we put out. Now, while it was really good to see what they did across the country with their stores, I'm gonna make an assumption here that when it comes down to the quality of the store situation that they were doing, they probably put a special effort to all the stores in like an hour or two radius of us here in Peachum, Vermont. And I've admittedly got no way to verify or validate if this is happening anywhere else. But that is where, dear viewer, I need your help. Look, I know Goldshaw Farm viewers are scattered all across the country. And so what I'd like to do is start a little bit of a push. And I've even got my own hashtag here. Go to your local tractor supply. Take pictures of the birds. Take pictures of the signage. Talk to the people there. Write about what you're seeing. Write about what you're hearing. Use this special hashtag here. Go into their stores. Ask their associates what their practices are for taking care of the birds. Take a look and see the conditions the birds have. See how healthy they look. See if they're doing the regular temperature checks. See if every single one of those tractor supply employees is wearing the earpiece like the corporate lady said they were. And if you guys post this stuff on Twitter or Instagram or TikTok or make your own YouTube videos about it, use this hashtag and I'll be able to aggregate it all and report on it back out to you guys. And who knows, maybe if we all work together on this one, we really will change the practices at Tractor Supply and it'll be better for the birds there. And, and that to me is a worthy cause. Thanks for watching you guys.